Awkward. Welcome back. It just feels weird not having a lathe in the shop. Today I'm going to make this folding cedar table. Let's go ahead and get started. The wood shop is sponsored by Robust Lathe, Easy Wood Tools, and Chefware Kits. Okay, I ran to the home store and picked up another cedar board, this eight foot board. I'm gonna have about 26 inches of scrap left over from it. And this is the scrap piece I had from the chair I made a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna use that, it worked out perfect. And I picked up a couple of dowels. This is a one inch dowel and three eighths. So I only need seven inches of the one inch dowel. And this I'm not sure yet. So it, there's a lot of little doweling in the project. So probably, probably use maybe half of it or so. so we'll see at the end but I do need to resaw these two pieces on the table saw because I couldn't find any half inch material that after I sanded it down and cleaned it up it would have been way too thin so I'm just going to use this and resaw it it's going to be I'm going to cut it a little thick and then run it through the surface sander so let's go ahead and start getting it cut up and I'll give you the measurements as we go along Cut the 47 by three and a half inch piece into three pieces, two at 15 and a quarter and one at 13. Cut the eight foot by three and a quarter inch piece into three pieces, two at 20 and a half and one at 14. Okay, here's what I have so far. They're all half an inch thick, and I have four of them at four, or 15 and a quarter by three and a half. And those are gonna be the top of the table. The, these are supports underneath the table, and they are 14 inches by inch and five eighths. And these are the legs, and they are 20 and a half by inch and a half again, or inch and five eighths again and then two and these are the lower supports and they're three and a half by 13. all the supports need a hole drilled at one end seven eighths of an inch from the end that's the 20 and a half inch piece and the 14 inch pieces the 20 and a half inch pieces also need a hole drilled nine and a half inches from the opposite end Okay, I have all my holes drilled. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and mark and round over all the corners on it. And so these two pieces here, I'm gonna round over all four corners on it. And then on the top, just the two outside pieces, I'm just gonna round over two corners on them like that. Mark it out. And I found a cap that fits perfectly. Vitamin water works out great. So I'm just gonna mark those. And I'll probably just take the little drum sander there and, and knock these off. It's, Pretty soft wood. Okay, cut four little pieces. They're inch and a half long. They're a little bit long, but I'm gonna use a flush saw to trim them off afterwards. So we need to glue one side of these in. They're, they're loose on the other side. So just put a little bit of glue on there. 
and one of these I need to cut two more but they need to be a little bit longer it supports in here and just pick whatever side you like best I would uh, let the glue dry completely it doesn't get glued together okay while the glue is drying I'm going to start assembling the top of it here so you need to find center they're 14 inches so seven inches you need to drill down in there maybe maybe a quarter of an inch it does take a little dowel just a little bit it sticks up the almost flush with the top so drill down in there a quarter of an inch and then leave the, leave the half, an, half an inch sticking out all right so I found center so I'm going to take it back over to drill press and just drill down in there Okay, I screwed up, I glued them into here and I had to pull them right back out. So they get glued into, this is where the handle goes. So these are the long two inch pieces. They go into the outside legs. So if you don't have plans or, or one to look at, it's a little, little bit confusing putting it together. So I'll show you real quick. So this goes in here. These ones go on the inside, on the outside here, just like that. And then these ones, so once you get put those in, I'll cut those off flush, and they go in just like this. So when they stand up, it comes up just like that, and then your boards are going to be on there. And the reason for this dowel in the center is it just kind of gives it a stop and, and locks it together. All right, so I'm going to cut the handle. Okay, cut my dowel. It's seven and an eighth. And I just found center on it. Just use a center finder here. Find center. And I just took a punch and put a little divot in there. I just drilled out in both ends here. I'm gonna put the handle on. And I'm not sure on this. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it loose. But the other handle's loose. But I'm not sure if it's just because of, uh, of uh, time or if they glued that together. But I'm just going to leave it leave it loose. It's going to be fine the the top is going to be glued on there so to support it and hold it together before I put the top on I'm going to go ahead and stain everything and this is just a clear clear stain okay I just found some little strips here I'm going to use as spacers for this so I put one in between here in the dowel I'm going to pull this one off. I'm going to mark a little line down center here just with a pencil and just real light just so I can sand it off when I'm done here. Just so I can, so I know where, where center is. And this one's over a little bit. And then I'll reference off this line to screw on that one there. Just going to go ahead and pre-drill. And then for screws, I got some, what are they? They're number, number six is one inch. On this side, they're screwed to the outside too. So those are the ones that come up. All right. Just like that. I'm gonna take uh, the flush cuts on and, and cut those off real quick and then I'll put a finish on the top of it. There we go, finishes all dry. They're just slick little tables. The one I have, I've had for years and I take camping with me and they work great as stools too. I've seen some larger ones where they're portable workbenches for the shop, for your chop saw and things like that. So just basically the same design, just make it a little bit bigger. And I'll put a detailed instruction uh, list up on Instructables, but it'll be a few days before I get that up. But I'll put my the link to my page down below in the, in, in the description. All right, and as far as time goes, 
it uh, it probably took me a full day to do it. Uh, I, the finish I was using only took an hour to dry, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. But yeah, easily easily done in a in a weekend. So they're just neat little tables. All right, I want to wish everybody a happy Fourth of July. All right, take care.